What's up sellers? This is a super, super easy video. I'm gonna show you how to use AMZ Scout and find five quick potential products. And uh, I love AMZ Scout because they display their data a little bit different from what I'm used to. And so I've been able to actually find some pretty sweet products so far. Um, some that I've never really been able to find before. So if you come in here under product research, um, you'll come into this product database. And you know, in Amazon, there's so many different categories of selling, and within each of these categories, there's like five to, sorry, 10 to 15 other subcategories. And uh, there's so many good ones to pick from, but the ones that I would suggest to stick to are gonna be like baby products, uh, pet supplies, toys and games, arts, craft and sewing, uh, health and household, office products, sports, outdoors and fitness, uh, home and kitchen, patio, lawn, and garden, and tools and home improvement. Now that can be expanded upon. You might be able to find a couple, uh, you know, products in like automotive and tool and tool and equipment that'd be great to do private label with. But I would stick to those that I mentioned. So for this example, I'm going to stick in the pets and supplies, uh, arts, crafts, and sewing, and uh, patio and lawn garden. Okay. So I'm gonna hit apply. And then next we're gonna come into including certain keywords. I'm gonna leave this blank. And then I want the price range of anywhere from 10 to $25. And then if we click right here under more filters, it's gonna uh, you know, uh, bring down a lot more other uh, points of criteria that we can edit. And really when you're doing product research, you wanna start off by kind of making it like a funnel you know, it's kind of like a marketing funnel. You're gonna throw, uh, you know, you're gonna cast a, a net out there, and you want to grab all of the the broad keywords that are that are good, and the, for the for the most part, and then you want to slowly slim that down. And so I'm gonna cast that net pretty wide, and uh, so I'm not gonna really change anything except the review count. We'll get that to about 400. Uh, seller type, no. Estimate of sales, no. Product here, no. Weight, no. Weight rank, no. Uh, estimate of revenue, yes. We want 5,000 to 15,000 in revenue. Uh, rating, no. Number of sellers, no. Facebook, blah, 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 none. Find products. All right. It's searching, it's searching. It's gonna pull product, it's gonna pull keywords uh, that have everything to do with those, uh, you know, with those uh, points of criteria. So it's gonna pull up all of these different products. And so as I'm looking through these, um, it's showing me a lot of different things up here, which can get confusing because like I said in the beginning, we wanna focus on only three things, average review count, uh, average revenue, and uh, search volume, all right? So let's come up here to view, and we wanna take out the rank, the subcategory, the sub rank, we want to take out the net and so also the fees you know this is just an estimate and the net like they don't know how much net profit these guys are actually making they don't know the cost of this product that they're sourcing it for uh, so we're going to take that out we're going to take out dfa uh, rpr i like that it's a revenue per review um that's a cool indicator to look at uh, so i'm going to keep it up for now i'm going to keep up reviews number of reviews i'm going to take off rating take off weight, take off sellers, and this guy, and then hit apply. So now I have a very, very overall overall view as far as what these products are, and I can kind of go one by one. And you know what? I know I selected three categories, but I like to go one category at a time so I can like hyper-focus on you know 20 or 50 or 100 products one category at a time. So let's hit that one more time. We're gonna go into arts, crafts, and sewing. Here's why I like arts, crafts, and sewing. People underestimate it. One, you get so many freaking little knickknack products that are small and lightweight. What does that mean? Lower FBA fees, baby. So you don't have to pay as much. Second, uh, they are so much easier to source. They're so cheap a lot of the times. So if you're gonna do home and kitchen, Great chance that it's gonna be something big, something ginormous. You know, the fees are gonna add up with shipping, with the product cost itself. But something like this, you know, these knickknack products, they're so good for a beginning seller. Because here's the thing, when you're first starting to sell up on Amazon, you wanna make bank? Absolutely. 
But do you want to make sure it works? Yes. That's the most important thing is not losing your money. And when you can put your money out in one of these products that's only like two, three dollars a unit, you sell it for 10 or 15 bucks, you make three to five bucks profit per sale, you do three to five sales a day times 30 days. Like, is that a lot of profit? Like, yeah, that's decent. Is it a ton, a ton of money? No, but you have the confidence that you can do the same, you know, uh, you can do the same thing with a bigger product and you can put more uh, capital towards financing inventory. Hope that makes sense. That's just my personal belief. That's what I've seen where it works the best. Okay, um, let's look through these products and I'm looking at something that's a little bit niche, something like these guys, uh, 40 pieces of butterfly unfinished wood. Um, why I like this is it's not just butterfly woods, it's 40 pieces, it's very distinctive. Uh, so people want a set of 40 on these, pro uh, a set of 40 with these products, okay, that's good. Uh, still looking, still looking. These are all really, really good products. Um, but I like this one right here already. Cool. Let's click this guy. Wow. Um, he is, and let's open up the AMZ Scout Pro extension. So we're looking at row number one right here. Estimated revenue is doing about 12,000. He only has 50 reviews, so you know it's a good, good product. And he is ranking his product around a specific keyword. What keyword? It's almost always the first keyword phrase in his title. And so I could tell you right now that it's going to be expandable crochet bag. Boom. There's your keyword. There's a keyword you're going to launch around. That is definitely a product, a potential product. I'm going to add this to my uh, workbook. Expandable. Gosh, I'm not the best speller. I don't know. Is that how you spell it? Cool. Um, the search volume was about 5,000. Average review, average revenue was about 12,000. And the average re uh, review was only 50. That's money. And the price point was like 24 bucks, if I saw that correctly. 23.99. Dope. Gosh, I love this. Awesome. There's our first guy. And uh, here's our product example. So I'm going to save this dude. And then uh, let's keep on going. We just started, we already found a sweet one. Okay, um, you know, these plush toys are cool, but it looks like it's a kit to build these. And, you know, um, this could be a cool product, but uh, I don't know, for some reason I just don't like it. Um, So one quick little hack for starters, the, the, if you're going to focus a product offering around, should I do, should I, should it be more revenue or less reviews? Like I would do less reviews because honestly, when you launch it, it's going to get to page one so freaking fast because it's not competitive at all. And when I see something like this, a handheld sewing machine and, um, you know, has zero reviews and it's doing an estimated nine thousand dollars in revenue. That's a good, good product. That's that's so freaking easy uh, to launch because it shows you that this guy isn't even like really launching around certain keywords, but he's making money for crying out loud. Like that is really, really good sign. So it's this guy up top here. He's doing about nine thousand in revenue. Um, he just launched it on the eighteenth of June. And it's the beginning of August right now. And the price is $18.98. That's really, really good. I love this. What is the main keyword? Handheld sewing machine. Remember, the main keyword that he's ranking for is going to be the first keyword phrase of the title. So handheld sewing machine. Love it. Handheld sewing machine. And so it's, uh, we're already 10 minutes into this. I'm going to just do one more product. But I could literally do this all day long. Never gets old. Uh, about five thousand. 
average revenue was about 9,000. And the average reviews, what was his reviews? You probably see it. Oh, he had zero. Hello, he had zero. Money. Cool. So like I said, you know, you could play around with these filters if you want to go, okay, what's the highest, what's the product that's doing the highest revenue? Um, that, that is that is that like interesting in that, you know, is that something that we'd want to focus our product offering around, offering around? Yes. But is it going to be probably like met up with other competition? For sure. And um, it shows these guys are doing pretty dang good. Revenue. So, okay, I like this one. Okay, I know. Ah, he has a lot of reviews. Psych. Let's forget that one. Okay, quilt necklace lamps. Um, I don't want to really do anything like liquidy that's like chemical oriented. Um, I don't want to do just a you know, like a bland bottle of paint or whatever this is, because it's not like very, it's not super like specific. Um, ostrich leaves, those sell for 34 bucks. Interesting. Ooh, let's see, let's see. Craftables tea. Heat transfer vinyl. Nah, it doesn't get me excited like vinyl or like paper or like selling plastic. Like, I want to sell like a kit or I want to sell like a cool product. I don't want to sell freaking. Okay, you know what? That's all right. Um, let's go on to a different category. Pet supplies. Find products. Also, by the way, if you want to buy AMZ Scout, I do have a discount code down below. Um, love this tool. I believe they have like a 14-day free trial. So get it for 14 days. If you want to cancel, cancel. But at least you're trying to find a product and uh, eventually launch your Amazon FBA business. So I love this guy. I already, okay, one. Why do I love it? Because it's freaking small. It looks super light already. And... Um, <laughs> I've seen my dog use this before. Um, <laughs> like it's supposed to, if I remember correctly, it kind of helps them when they're like teething. And so you put like food in it and anyways, whatever. So um, this main keyword is interactive treat dispensing, probably something like this, like, like, like treat dispensing toy, uh, one of these main keywords. But what I'm looking at is a review count, only 120. And let's see what they are doing in terms of uh, revenue. Uh, they're doing 11,000 in revenue. Oh wait, no, sorry. This top guy. 13,000 in revenue. Uh, he, you know, they have a product score for private label is a seven, which is very, very good. This is a really, really good product. Gosh, we found some gems really, really fast. So interactive, treat this, let's do interactive. All right, so we have our example ASIN when we want to come back to. Um, we had the search volume of about 5,000 to uh, 15,000. And then the average revenue on this guy was about 13,300. Whoops. And his reviews was 120, and his selling price was under was about 16.99. And here's the thing: is uh, your selling price? You know, I haven't. I'm, this video is not on Alibaba on sourcing, but your selling price is going to be typically 30 percent or below your selling. Sorry, your cost of goods, your cogs, will be anywhere from. 30% or below your selling price. Just to kind of give you an idea, that's that's a rule of like, in, in e-commerce is like the rule of 30, you know, typically like cost of, cost of source and ship your product is 30%, 
The other 30% is either to the platform that you're selling on or advertising, and then your goal is to make at least 30%. Not always the case, but that's the goal, and that's what you should be aiming for, because that's what's definitely possible. Um, I didn't do the uh, price for the handheld sewing machine, but if I remember correctly, it was about $22. Hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know, and of course, subscribe to this channel, and I very much appreciate it.